Hi, this is David Wolf, and today I'll be showing you a brief overview of Windchill Customer Experience Management, otherwise known as CEM for short. There are four types of workflow activities associated with a complaint or inquiry for a customer. Those include a general activity, like a request for product back from the customer, product investigation, such as a failure investigation or risk analysis, Product activity, which is like trending of nonconformance complaints or CAPA and the relationships. And lastly, for those industries that require regulatory reporting, we can facilitate that as well. We support multiple browsers. You can see here I'm using Firefox. And right directly from my home page, you can see who I'm logged in as. Um, I have access to all the quality events based on my role. I'm logged in as a super user and this acts as a quality portal. So for this specific division I can easily come in create a new Kappa nonconformance or complaint. I'm also provided a list of reports out of the box. These reports are unique. They're uh, known as report builder and all the queries have been written across the database objects so you don't need an IT professional to help you generate these reports they're very easy to come in take the base library and then modify that save it off as your own report let's take a look at this all complaints which again is the report builder offered separately from CEM um, and <clears throat> what it's doing now is generating the criteria on all complaints and it's looking for the complaint state such as the workflow state, some codes and then if I maximize this you can see over to the right any type of risk um, based information as well. We can easily go in and run a chart. I can run a chart on really anything within the database on complaints. I'm just look at complaint state here. This would be interesting for managers that want to look at the various states of the workflow and uh, where we're spending the majority of our time. I can easily change that up and modify it a little bit so we can see some of the font. Uh, you can change from the top three to the top 25 values. We can also provide access for color blindness with this CUD compliant palette. Once you have all this information in the system, you can see how dynamic it is to interact with the charting. You can either save it off as your favorite here, or you can add that chart right to the table. So now we have that chart, it's dynamic, functional, and then we have all these records below. You can see in the upper right, 40 different records. Uh, if I want to just take a look at evaluation and why we're spending so much time or issues on that, I can easily drill into that and now it provides eight different complaints. Um, some of those we'll take a look at such as C20. I can drill directly into the complaint itself and it gives me a background of any related uh, changes. I can also see here the complaint evaluator like demo, demo user and I can instantly go in and email that user and find out what the holdup is with the evaluation state. So it's very easy to uh, trend all these actions from a high level and then drill, do, drill down using the uh, report builder. We'll take a look a little later at the data monitor and how that can be set up for say watchdogs. Alright, back on my home page here. Um, towards the bottom is my task. You can see some complaints and nonconformances, potentially some kappas, anything that's overdue, who is assigned to it. Um, I can also come into the table and search for specific records. So I'm going to look at, say, C10. I can see all the related activities that are going on simultaneously. And that's one of the unique capabilities to do perform these general activities as well as product investigations in parallel. If I want, I can click directly on that workflow task. You can hear, see here the system provides me the background of my related task, some input, and then I can complete it. 
uh, and I also have this state diagram in the upper right of every quality record where I can see, oh, lo and behold, there's two other activities going on in parallel, trying to get the product back and say some other risk um, analysis. In addition, we have return product processing that highlights my activity that I'm currently on. So it's nice for me to see what I'm doing as well as everybody else that's touching this record. Okay, go ahead and navigate back to my home page here. And just like we searched before, <clears throat> let's now come back into the complaint task. And this time we'll search for C11. Uh, this particular record's in complaint and review. So I'm going to go ahead and right mouse on this and enter the details of the complaint. Uh, again, just like we saw before, I can quickly come in and see everything that's been done and where I'm at in the record. I can also see here that we're moving forward or escalation to a kappa. We read a little background and I can go ahead and create and couple those records together as the kappa. It shares that information and uh, makes it very easy to track all these quality events that happen simultaneously in the organization. Next thing that I'm going to show here is from my home page. We have this nice navigator that shows the different products in the organization, libraries, some projects that might be going on in parallel. And then lastly, you see this quality. Uh, under quality, I can access the kappas, nonconformances, and complaints within the organization. I can also look at the different states if they're open or closed, and I can drill into overdue timelines, of course, with Report Builder, do some rolling reports. So <clears throat> here we have C19. I'll go ahead and take a look at kind of the high-level overview of details of this particular complaint. First thing that I notice is that <clears throat> there is a kappa that was created from this complaint. I can, you know, get a nice background, look at the structure. The structure will show me what's been performed in intake, who that was at such and such a time, all the way down to the summary and review. Um, we also can provide details of the products and uh, in particular any risk analysis that's been done on that product. Uh, we can capture the as reported failure effects and modes and that will be used simultaneously throughout the system to prioritize the kappas. Okay, uh, in the complaint management section, I can quickly see who all is involved, whether there's different customers or manufacturing sites, some activities to get the product back, and as I mentioned, a product investigation on, say, a bolt. Um, and then we can look at the details of that, as well as any related changes. So here's what's nice in terms of closed-loop quality. I'm currently on a complaint. I want to get to another record related to this, the kappa. I can drill directly into the kappa, see the affected objects, and now I can get directly to the product. So simultaneously in the organization, quality, operations, and engineering can be interacting uh, with the various records. You can see here uh, the details for this bolt product. I can drill into the bolt and now you can see from the bolt all the different changes we have in here like non-conformances within the system I might have some other related complaints and then obviously the kappa so it's very seamless for me to get from one uh, aspect of the record to the other and really link together simultaneously the quality and product development activities All right, next thing and Probably the final that I'm going to show here is with this nice capability of Report Builder and saving off this certain criteria, at any time I can go create a watchdog and that's nothing more than the name, description, uh, how many complaints, say a threshold that I'm going to look for, some background for the server to execute. I can give custom notifications and even send this to vendor or email recipients. Once I set up that watchdog and any of these saved uh, reports,
then the data monitor, once that threshold's been crossed, returns this and really lifts it above all the noise in the organization. This allows your company to seamlessly react in, in a proactive manner to those high-risk complaints, per se. And I can drill directly into that report, take a look at it here, and see all the complaints, uh, any type of products or personnel that were related, all the way down to the failure effect code. That completes the demonstration today on Windchill Customer Experience Management. Thank you.